are your local election headquarters. You voted for them, now they vote for you. Arkansas lawmakers convened at the Capitol for the 92nd General Assembly, the start of months of work to craft new laws for the state. Jesse Tenor joins us live from the state Capitol with a look inside the first day. Jesse. Yeah, hey Mallory, today was definitely a day of many firsts. The House and Senate have new leaders. There's a record number of female lawmakers serving, and the Senate now live streams its proceedings. It's the latest in its effort to be more accessible. Do solemnly swear. New lawmakers sworn in. <laughs> new leaders at the helm of both chambers. Arkansans now do not have to be at the state capitol to watch the behind the scenes in the House and Senate of how a bill becomes law. The House has streamed for years. But they have put up with a lot, and I wanted to say thank you to them as well. While the Senate's first day was Monday. Let me congratulate the new members of the Arkansas Senate. The accessibility continues online with social media. On this really exciting big day. A new state representative, Nicole Clowney, plans to bring her Fayetteville constituents to the Capitol with her every day. It's especially great for a district like mine that's a three-hour drive from the Capitol. There are so many people who want to be here and can't. So with social media, why not make them feel like they are? Representative Clowney believes delivering information in a more consumable way, like Instagram stories, will make more people interested in how state government works. Even if it's imperfect, it's more important that we just bring it to folks. And um, I want to hear what people want to see and do as, as good of a job as I can of bringing it to them. She's not the only one. Many state representatives and senators are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and will use them to tell you what they're up to these next several months. You may fuss and fight, but at the end of the day, we're all Arkansans. No matter the party. Come to some bipartisan agreements and um, make things better for Arkansans. Some of the big ticket items is in these next several months include highway funding, tax cuts, teacher raises, and then transformation of state government. Those are the governor's four main priorities, but there's usually thousands of bills filed during this time. So be on the lookout for many different topics. We are already seeing things on everything from medical marijuana to guns. Live at the state capitol, I'm Jesse Tenor. Jesse Tenor, live. Busy few weeks for you, Jesse. Thank you.